I'm Hayley Kay with another GVOG for Grand Theatre Blackpool. I'm joined by Chief Executive of the Grand Ruth Eastwood and Deputy Artistic Director at the Royal Shakespeare Company, Erica Wyman. So, can you start by telling us a little bit um, about the partnership between the Grand and the RSC and, and why Blackpool? How did it all come about? <laughs> Well, the Royal Shakespeare Company has a long and proud tradition of making sure that our work, especially the work on Shakespeare, travels around the country. And we've been coming to the Grand for a very long time, more than a couple of decades. Um, but in recent years, uh, Blackpool's been a very important part of our key partnerships around the country. Maybe like Ruth said, a bit more, but for us, it's been an opportunity to work with an audience for whom perhaps Shakespeare uh, is new and where we felt we could make a real difference both in schools and the broader community in the town. Yes, it's a bit, we've been in a relationship for seven years now with the RSC, particularly working in schools across Blackpool and Wire. Um, there are 32 schools working with us in the programme, and it's always linked to what goes on on our stage, because after all, we are a theatre. So when um, Erica talks about the RSC visiting the town back into the, into the 80s and the 90s, that wasn't necessarily with productions of Shakespeare. It's good quality drama, Strano de Bergerac, Les Liaison d'Angereux, that those sort of things. But there's a joint wish. Um, the theatre wanted to engage more fully with, uh, with um, our community and schools and also be able to offer a consistent journey. Uh, so it wasn't just every five years something happens. It's, uh, there, there's a, uh, you're able to build an appetite for Shakespeare and then feed that appetite. Because you briefly talked about schools and I'm guessing what you're now saying is this has now grown into is it first encounters and then is it associated school partnerships? So we just tell us a bit more about them because it really feels like what was a tiny thing has grown into something quite extraordinary now. Yeah, it has become a really major part of our work um, nationally working here in Blackpool. First Encounters are productions that we make that are an edit of Shakespeare's play that are a bit shorter and we try to be really inventive with the way that we handle the plays because they are for people who are coming for the first time and we perform those plays in schools and in theatres so that's one programme that, that we've been doing together for quite some time as Ruth says. The Associate Schools programme is a national programme so we work all over England uh, where we have lead associate schools, schools that are really keen on doing this work with Shakespeare with us, where we use rehearsal techniques that Royal Shakespeare uh, Company actors and directors use now on our professional productions, and we use those in classrooms to empower teachers to teach Shakespeare. So we're not just working with the children, we're working with the teachers as well. And um, at the heart of it is the experience of not just our theatre, but also Stratford. Mm -hmm. So the children may come and see something that the RSC has, has produced here, or they may come and um, do their own shows. We have Shakespeare festivals every year where whole numbers of children come and perform. Um, last year it was, it was Macbeth. Um, this year I think it's Romeo and Juliet. And um, they all get a chance to star in the show as well. I mean, how difficult do you think it is for teachers to get that message across? Because it literally feels like a different language, I guess, if, you were, if you're experiencing it for, for, experiencing it for the first time. Uh, I think I, could, I, I can answer that because the first time we did it, it, we did have to arm wrestle some teachers into joining the first nine schools because we're working with primary age children and there was a kind of perception that it would be above their uh, age group. And, um, but once we'd started and the teachers had realised how accessible it can be using rehearsal room techniques, working with professionals from the theatre and bringing that into the classroom, then when we rolled it out for the second time, we had 22 schools suddenly wanted ah. to join us. So <laughs> teachers talk to teachers. Um, what's important about it is the children start with us when they're in year seven. Um, so they'll be growing up out of primary and going into secondary and keeping their love of um, of the, the performance, the language, the stories, all through their lives, and also making their parents come and see them at the mm. theatre as well. So yeah, and I guess the other thing is, we know that these stories last the test of time, so it's just a matter of keeping them engaged with it and making sure it's so accessible. Now, I believe we've got a triple bill. Can you tell us a little bit more about that for those that don't really know what a triple bill is? 
Yes, I mean, this feels like building on the work that we've, we've done together on the main stage. We brought production, my production, Midsummer Night's Dream, a couple of years ago, that was very engaged with the school's partners that we've been talking about, and also had a local amateur group, Ports and Players, were in, were in Midsummer Night's Dream. And now Romeo and Juliet's here this year. So what we've been able to do next year is bring three plays from the season in Stratford. So they're, they're just about to open. One, as you like, it's just opened. It's completely gorgeous, a really fun and joyful story. And it's a story about about love and, and running away from some of your troubles and having fun in the forest. So that is it's completely gorgeous. And then that will be joined by Taming of the Shrew, which opens in Stratford very shortly. Taming of the Shrew, another very funny play, but also a play that's quite complex to do now, I think. So we've been thinking about the questions about gender in it, and uh, it's going to be a very interesting world where the women are in charge and they're not sure what their young men should do uh, with the rest of their lives and they want to protect them. And then that will be joined by Measure for Measure, which I suppose is the most serious play in the Triple Bill. Measure for Measure, uh, if people don't know the story, is in part about a young woman who takes a very strong ethical stance, is asked to cross some boundaries. Um, by a number of men in her life and uh, I suppose it speaks to a sort of post me too world and we're yep. all talking about how we can empower our young women to to really hold hold fast around issues of consent so they all feel quite timely and we're bringing all three of them to the ground see that last one I'm not familiar with but it's no, the bit I've heard now has definitely made me want to explore it a bit more and how mm. does the triple bill actually work because I believe it's slightly well, different yes. here than everywhere else yeah. uh, well the, it, it, it's a genuine repertory company the 27 actors are going to be performing in all uh, in the three plays That's right. um, so they will have um, already been in repertoire down mm -hmm. in, uh, down in Stratford so rotating when they come here we're not big enough really to do it every other day uh -huh. so we'll have a block each week so it's, it's a it's a two week residency and the plays will run in blocks of three three and three um, because it's one of the challenges for we're working with one of the, the the biggest theatre companies in the country with one of the smallest and most pretty beautiful theatres in the country so sometimes we have to leave some things in the lorry well, it, it isn't a huge space, but how do the actors feel about performing somewhere like the Grand? Because it is, you know, I know where they perform is beautiful, but this is surely exciting for them. I, I, I honestly think it is one of our favourite theatres in the country. It is one of my favourites. It's so gorgeous. And you say it's small because the stage space is a little bit small, backstage a little bit small, but actually it is spectacular. And I think the shows sit very well here. Of course, we know the theatre opened with the production of Hamlet, I think, a very long did, time ago. 125 years ago. <laughs> and it still feels like a great space for Shakespeare because you've got this kind of epic uh, uh, auditorium. You do feel like you're at a very special event. Mm. But actually, the intimacy of the ground is great for Shakespeare because you also feel like you're in very close contact with the characters and the words. And exciting, it's something for next year already that we're talking about so early in this year. So finally, one of the things I wanted to talk, as we're talking about Shakespeare is, could you tell us a little bit more, Ruth, about the link up you've done with Blackpool Transport and people finding books on buses? <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, we work a lot with Blackpool Transport because obviously we're trying, we're trying to be as green as we can for a 125 year old building and not coming in your car is kind of a, a, a something that we're trying to incentivize people with. Um, and um, um, we, we thought it would be fun and nice to um, put some Shakespeare on, on the buses because we have got advertising on the buses for Romeo and Juliet mm -hmm. that's on at the moment um, and give people a chance to have a read, keep the book maybe if they want to or leave it for the next passenger ah. and it's already started quite a conversation if you ever follow you know, on Twitter or Facebook uh -huh. you'll see that people are really enjoying it and what's great is so many of our young people do travel to school on the bus and they are familiar with it, so they're picking it up and they can read it out loud. Um, we were on the bus the other day with two Year 10 young ladies who'd started uh, with Shakespeare in Year 7, and it was wonderful that they, 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 they literally picked it up and, and just started to uh, pronounce in, uh, uh, you know, the, the confidence. I was about to say that's the key, isn't it? The confidence it is, is, is yes. knowing that that's accessible for them. Yes. yes. Uh, we quite often find, and we find it very vividly here in Blackpool, that because people think Shakespeare might be very difficult, because the plays are 400 years old, if they discover that they can do it and that they can understand it and they can, they can move somebody by saying the words, they sort of feel like they can do anything. Yeah. So powerful. Honestly, thank you so much, Ruth and Erica, for, uh, for chatting with me today. Now, that is everything. However, if you want to book the Triple Bill or find out anything about what we've discussed today, and of course you want to book into one of the RSD's Triple Bill shows, head over to blackpoolgrand.co.uk.
I've been Hayley Kay for Grand Theatre's G-Vlog.